G'day guys, Greg here. Well, it's product review time, and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Heinz Soup of the Day, green pea with ham. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm. And it's pre-cooked, so all you have to do is heat it up and eat it. But I was wondering how much ham is actually in this. Well, let's find out. Well, ingredients, water, peas, 33%. Manufactured ham, 4%. I wonder what it's manufactured from. Maybe pigs? It's got a smoke flavor, salt, antioxidants, blah, blah, dee, da, dee, do, sugars, yeah. Herb spice, contains a total of 39% vegetables. Well, that's all right, 39%, which means the rest is probably just water. <laughs> Now, I wonder if it's good for us. Let's see how many kilojoules it's got. Well, the energy is 815 kilojoules. Oh, that's pretty good. That means you could eat like 10 of these a day and still stay within your average adult daily intake. Whoa! -ho -ho! Now, you can cook this in the microwave or the stove top. Unfortunately, you can't do it in the air fryer. Ah, oh, rats! But uh, I'll cook it on the stove top so we can see what it looks like while it's cooking. How do you do that? Cooking guidelines, pour into a saucepan, stir while heating gently until hot. Do not allow the soup to boil. Caution, bowl and soup will be hot. This pouch is not microwavable. Yes, it's made of foil, so whatever you do, don't put it in the microwave unless you want a new kitchen because your old one will blow up. And it does say here that it's made in New Zealand. Oh, choice, bro, hey, cuz. Bro, cook the mince and beans soup, bro. Well, let's pour it into a bowl and suss it out. Now, it's even got a tear thing here, which will save us from looking for scissors. So, oh, it's coming out. It comes out pretty fast. It's a premature evacuation. But, wow, that looks uh, pretty nice. Mmm, the smell coming off it's pretty good, too. Now, whenever I'm using these things, I like to squeeze from the bottom. And then I like to fold it over, maybe three times, and then just, like, stroke it. Give it a good old stroking until uh, stuff spits out the end. Yes, yes, I'm very good at that. Does it look like the picture, though? Well, if the soup was doctored a little, it probably could. Anyway, let's heat this up and have a taste test. Right, I'll turn on the stove. Remember, do not let it boil. All right, well, I've been trying to simmer it for a while. See how it's going. Well, it's looking good. Would you consider that boiling, though, if it's just bubbling away like that? I don't know. Certainly hope not, but it is smelling very nice. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure I scrape it off the bottom. <laughs> I said bottom. All right, well, here we go. The soup is ready. Looks soupy, doesn't it? So, I pour it into the bowl here. And I tell you what, that looks good enough to eat. Or drink. Hmm, now here's a question for you. Do you eat soup or do you drink soup? I don't know, I mean you are swallowing it like a drink. Although you do swallow food when you eat it. But this is more a liquid than a solid. But it is still not a pure liquid. It has got some solidness about it. Now I'm really confused. I need to know down below, let me know, do you drink or eat soup? Maybe it depends on the soup. If it's a watery soup or a solid soup. Anyway, it doesn't matter. How about we just taste this soup? Yummy. I hope. I've had many a pan ham soup in my time. In fact, 
I've made one that was awesome. If you want a good recipe, check it out. But this doesn't taste anything like mine. Well, it sort of does, but nowhere near as good. It still tastes all right though. You can taste all the ingredients in there. It doesn't seem to have too much seasoning in it. It still tastes all right, and it is kind of thickish, which makes me think that you eat soup. Well, you couldn't suck it through a straw, that's for sure. Although I know a few people that probably could. It tastes okay, and well, you can really notice that 4% ham that it's got. You can really notice it because you can't even taste it. Or find any for that matter. But it is freshish tasting, and it does taste okay. But a soup this thick really needs something else. Maybe some toast with heaps of butter on it. Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. That helped quite a bit. Well, let's see what the Grego meter thought about this Heinz pea and ham soup. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Well, he seems to be liking it so far. Uh. Oh, oh, hang on. Well, he thought I thought he liked it. Oh, oh, it's going down a bit. Oh no, oh no. Oh, hang on. It's going right down. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's just shot back up. Oh, back down. Oh, back up again. I thought it was going to go all the way up then. Oh no, it's down again. Oh, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Greg O Media, you're making me dizzy, mate. Just pick one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well, you know, it's not all the way up, but, uh, well, it's uh, semi-flaccid, and that's close enough to half decent. But would I get it again? Well, I mean, it wasn't so expensive. Uh, well, I got it on half price special, of course, but you can take it around, pack it in your luggage, take it to work, heat it up. You could probably even just drink it cold straight from the container. So, mate, it's a pretty handy soup, and, well, yes, I would get this again. I've also got another one here, a creamy mushroom with a hint of thyme. You got the thyme, I got the place. I wouldn't mind giving this one a go, too. If you want to see me try it, let me know down below. There'd be a great other video for me to make. Anyway, uh, the high end soup of the day, yeah, it is pretty good, and I'd say it's worth giving a go if you're into these sorts of things. Anyway, I hope this video helps you decide what to try and what to avoid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll review something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the reviews are fake.